Uh, contrary to what most people thought, they're not really going to be taking out a cow or a sheep. They're not really big enough. They might be able to take out a small sheep, but generally they're not going to be costing people too much money. But what they did hunt were rabbits. Now, rabbits um, are, a ma are a massive problem. Um, they are introduced here, and they do. T uh, and if left unchecked, they can really decimate the surrounding area because they are foragers and grazers. They'll eat all the grass and food in the surrounding area, won't leave anything for themselves, which could cause a population crash for their species, but also for all the surrounding grazers and things like that. So they can cause ecological problems because they eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. They breed and breed and breed and breed and breed. They don't conserve their resources and suddenly there's no food for anyone and population starts to crash. Luckily that didn't fly, hopefully fly over to Owen. There we go. And we'll do that lovely last flight straight up to the glove. I must admit, Owen is very brave because they plunge those talons out and they really do dig them in and still here is a bit of a gripper. So uh, you can sight see a sunny bird, he's just named different things. This is a common trait with many birds, um, particularly birds of prey, because falconers are incredibly pedantic and not very pragmatic. Basically, if they, they decide something is called something, they will stick to their guns, even if they're slightly wrong. Like James, our other falconer. If you guys come along and see him, he's the blonde guy, comes out, does an awesome show, and he has a tendency to call it the Veruz Eagle Owl. He's wrong, he is the Verix, he's definitely the Verix, uh, and because I've got the mic, I'm right, he knows anything about world history, hearing Westerners, and uh, then come first of all, um, there are a lot of conservation efforts to try and sort of replenish their population, but um, also luckily for people, maybe less luckily for the residents, he, uh, there was a civil war, and this civil war meant that a lot of Westerners decided, well, this isn't my ideal holiday destination, so I'm not going to go here anymore. And it meant they had time to recover, and now they're doing... Or is he going to sit with his back to you? I feel like he's going to do that. Yes, he is. Of course he is, because we said we wanted you to look at his eyelids. He's now going to do everything to stop would be right either way. Basically, he has bald eyelids, uh, and these actually change colour. Now, if it's a cooler daylight today, it's not too hot, that'll probably be a nice, healthy, pink-looking colour. If you come here about three weeks ago, you would have maybe seen the surface of your skin, which is why you go a lovely sort of red colour. Now, Pinky does the same things with his eyelids. He pushes all the blood vessels up, and that helps get rid of as much heat as possible. Now, when he gets cold, or when you get cold, the tree and everyone will forget about how badly Boris did for me. And I can joke about that, because I'm going back down to Maidstone tonight, so I'm not going to have to hang around till still comes back down. Poor old Owen there, and poor old Owen's girlfriend, are going to have to sit underneath a tree till about 1, 2 in the morning, when still the site is going to come down. Not many brave people are really going to go near it. So Dad's a few hundred square metres away. It's a little bit of a warning for you, essentially. Gathering food and making sure that the young and that female has food all the, all the time round. But as we say, females being that larger in size, it's known as that sort of predator slash priority relationship. So if I'm bigger than you, then in theory, you should be scared of me. And it worked both ways round. If you were larger than myself, then by the same I shouldn't be seeing how fly down to the game. But as we can already see, we're given in to Boris, and that's just part of the game we play. But he's very well done there from Ben and Stephen back for winning very good. That was very good. Well done, Boris. You make the show you do. Now, as we say, this is all in a script. So this here is Bandit. Now Bandit is an Asian brown wood owl. Now Asian brown wood owls are found, obviously as the name is suggesting in South East Asia, they've got a lot of woodland that they can live in and a lot of food for them to use. Now the wood owl uh, family, as I said, is very widely distributed. Now they are found on every continent except for Antarctica, way, sort of hot tropical climates like the lovely Bandit here. Now the three wood owls we have living here uh, not actually, but when uh, they're sort of in full bloom essentially, they form almost like a fan tail. This gives them great manoeuvrability, it almost works like a rudder, helps catch the air, get them to glide between the trees easily, and hopefully Owen is going to be able to show you. Let's see, where is Bandit? Uh, he may be able to show you his Bandit. Now I don't know if you can see, but Bandit has this white fluff on the bridge of his nose, and that's his baby fluff. He's still quite young. Offers him some food, then hopefully, that, uh, then hopefully he's going to get rewarded if he lands on it. Can we do a few more flights? Excellent. So if you watch as he flies as well, you can see he's got quite rounded wings as well. He's got very strong wing muscles. These help him lift his food there for our big Siberian eagle. They use a tremendous amount of power and incredibly powerful talons. Basically use their size to their advantage. He is a bit more cunning. He's a bit more clever. He'll do a number of little things to make his life a little bit easier. Now one of these things is hanging around underneath street lamps. 
So this guy will occasionally bat, so he knows if he stays near a street lamp, hopefully that is going to attract moths. Those moths, you want them to associate doing a good behaviour with a reward. And that's exactly what we do for the lovely bandit here. He's just done a gorgeous flight, he lands on the glove.